What's up guys, so in today's video I'm gonna teach you how to create this awesome text glitch effect on Adobe Premiere Pro. Stick to me cause that's what we're covering right now, let's go. Ok so let's begin. First let's make sure that we are on graphics tab and let's create a black background just to see the animation clearly. Ok now let's add a background layer to our timeline and expand it, right after that uh, let's pick the text tool and write down your text, in my case it's glitch. Let's align its center and pick the effects tab. Ok, so right now let's go to the effects window and write down in the search bar VR digital glitch. There we go and now let's drag it down and put it on our text layer and uh, expand the text layer equally to the background layer. Cool, let's move on. So first let's zoom in in the effects timeline. Just because our animation is pretty fast, drag the timeline over here and let's add the keys by marking the clock on these settings. I'm reminding you these settings are specifically for the animation I've showed you at the beginning of the video. If you're looking to create a different animation, you can adjust them however you want. Nice. After we gave them the settings, let's mark this one and let's set it on 45, 100, this one on 80 and this one around 15, 90 and the last one stays like that, cool. It's supposed to look something like this. Now let's drag the timeline to the beginning of the animation and let's add a key on the master and drag it down to zero. Ok let's see, ok the animation is really slow so let's zoom in and drag all these over here and let's try, wait just like that. Yeah, cool enough. Alright, let's continue. So let's drag the timeline around here and let's give a new settings animation. This one is 100, this one is 20, and the color should be something around 320. Let's check. Nice. Again, same process and the distortion is right now on 75 and 0. Now let's drag the color settings to something around here and let's check again. Cool. To the color distortion all we need is just to add a key. And let's set this one to 40 and this one supposed to be 100. This one on 80 and let's drag the color settings to the other side like that. Nice, it looks dusty. I love it. Cool, let's check it. Great. Ok, so one more time, let's drag the timeline and add key to the master and leave it like that. And let's keep this one and this one is 50. Alright, so the distortion is going down to 0 or 1, whatever. This one is also 0 and drag the color to something around here. Ok, I know you're exhausted but that's the last segment, so let's drag the timeline over here and let's bring the master back to 0 again. Let's select all of them together, right click on a mouse and let's add ease in effect. Now to make it way more professional, let's add a glitch sound effect. So let's import a sound effect 5, nice and let's add it to our timeline. Ok so let's position both of them together by dragging these two and this one also to the beginning, cool so it's almost on the same time. Ok, so that's the result, check this out. Awesome isn't it? I really hope you like it guys, but now there is a BONUS! So to work way more effectively, you can save your own preset by right click on the VR digital effect and let's click on save preset. Let's give your preset a name. So as you can see it has been saved over here. So let's see if it actually works, let's delete our effect and let's see. Alright so now let's apply our preset on the textler. And it works. So I hope you guys love this video and learned something new today. Cause if you do, that's a great reason to smash the subscribe button. It will keep me motivated to create more videos like this one. So I've put the download link in the description to my own preset, enjoy!